today today we will uh, discuss that why sound wave is a, a longitudinal wave it is just an uh, experimental uh, observation or we will uh, take one uh, tuning fork and uh, it will in that uh, tuning fork will be set into motion in air and alpha tuning fork uh, vibrates in air we'll see that the sound will travel in the form of uh, compression and reflection that will see how it is done so topic is ambient bus not generally <clears throat> now i will consider a tuning fork here like this okay this is a uh, set into vibration before this uh, tuning fork is vibrated the air was still and the layers are uh, equally spaced like this one you will have uh, air layers equally spaced the distance between uh, these are uh, layers of wires and uh, the distance between two layers uh, any two layers is same so they are equally distant now this is the case when uh, the tuning fork is not vibrated once the tuning fork is uh, set into vibration the this is called the stem and this is the prong okay so this is the prong of the tuning fork and this is the stem now when uh, <coughs> that uh, tuning fork is uh, set into vibration by hitting on a rubber pad say then it will start vibrating this will this prong will start vibrating to and fro like this okay so now when this is sent into motion this look at this part when uh, this uh, prong goes outward it will continue to move outward and uh, inward like this okay outward and inward like this outward inward like this so will be the case for uh, this prong so that also will so that means basically the prong will be like this it will be like this move outward inward outward inward outward inward so outward when the prong is outward it will push the layers of wires so when it is outward that means uh, this is the case prong is outward then it will push the air less and they will come closer so now the layers will get closer and uh, the remaining you can keep like that okay it pushes the layers of air and so on now to start with when uh, the prong moves outward outward movement of the prong the air layers uh, earlier it was equidistant now the distance between the layers will decrease so that is uh, they are more crowded more dense so the pressure will be more and density will be more this region is called a uh, compression okay compression is when layers are closer to each other similarly it is during the outward movement of the prong during the inward movement now outward movement that pushes the air during inward movement it will uh, create space okay create more space so the layers uh, will be uh, wide apart the distance of separation between the layers will now increase the than the previous value i mean uh, to say that if this is the distance of separation when uh, there there is no vibration or there is no sound wave propagating in the medium now in case of uh, outward movement of the prong the distance uh, decreases because of the compression this will move forward like this so decreases distance and during the inward movement of the prongs they will uh, move like this so it will create more space so there will be uh, increase in the distance of separation between the layers so this uh, basically this uh, layer will uh, now increase uh, so there will be increase in layers that are represented like this okay 
so during the inward movement of the prong i will say what is created is something like this okay now that time the compression has moved forward to some distance and uh, the this uh, is called the rail fraction okay this is called rail fraction when uh, the distance of uh, separation between the layers will be uh, more than the original equidistance uh, separation so what happens this is during the inward movement so let me explain once again when the prong is not vibrated the layers distance of separation will remain same equidistant when this moves outward this pushes the layers and the distance will decrease when it moves inward it will create more space therefore the distance will increase so this uh, region is called layer fraction c stands for uh, compression r stands for layer fraction c stands for compression r stands for layer fraction so inward movement of the prong will create layer fraction outward movement of the prong will create compression so because the prong moves uh, both inward and outward every second so it will keep on creating uh, compressions and refractions and these compressions and refractions will travel okay will travel in, through the air so this is how and this conformation of uh, the propagation of compression and refraction in air uh, uh, and uh, this is uh, how the molecules of air uh, will uh, oscillate uh, to and fro in the direction of propagation of the sound wave so what we're discussing is that uh, the sound wave is traveling in this direction sound wave is traveling in this direction and the particle at compression will move forward the particle at uh, refraction will move backward so that means uh, when uh, the if you concentrate on any one layer uh, any particle on any one or molecule or any one layer any layer say here so that uh, particle will be when the disturbance will reach here this particle will move forward when the compression reaches and it will move backward when the refraction reaches so because the particle has to get continuously compression and refraction alternately so therefore the particle has to move forward and backward alternately okay so this is how the Therefore, the sound wave is called longitudinal wave because particle vibration is parallel to sound wave directions. Okay, thank you.